Hey, what's up? It's Asi again. So today what we're going to talk about is Reincarnation Tower. Um, something fun. I always thought it was super original that they came out with. And, you know, like, it's one of the few things that I actually enjoy in this game, apart from just doing the regular stuff. Um, and I'm going to tell you how I play it. And we'll do a couple rounds just to show you exactly, you know, how to be most effective in it. Um, obviously, of course, you have the reincarnation tower, you have some shops. After doing it a couple times, you can buy a couple things. Great. What I like about this is you get to use, uh, you know, units that you wouldn't, espers that you wouldn't normally use. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. So, we're just going to do challenge. It's going to start off at one. Um, of course, you have some missions that you can do. Um, I completed all of them. All of them for this season section, something like that. You know, the uh, I think they're gonna have this reoccurring. So in three days, I see Mateo, Mateo there, Prometheus. So um, and right now it's Yuhime. So before Reincarnation Tower didn't have a main focus. This one is good because their main focus is Yuhime, and. Um, um, I don't know if you know it, at level six, at, at floor six, you will automatically be given her. And I'm pretty sure they'll follow the same suit for all the other espers that they're trying to show. And it's a great way to kind of, uh, I don't know, like, uh, introduce new espers. So if you look here, tier one gains crit rate at the start of the battle. Gains attack up, tier two. And Yuhime gains six Hell's Hand stacks from Beyond the Grave. And they gain, they gain bonus turn. So, uh, the big thing, as everything in this light, with the exception of maybe cube and stuff like that, but basically like PvE, I'm sorry, PvP type deals, um, the best thing to work with is speed. And that's all you're going to work with. So... Right off the back, what I do is I just kind of click all of these when creating a team, and I grab everyone that has the best attack. So right in the beginning, you can only use three people. So I'll grab this, and I'll grab an attack. And Liao is good for, uh, the reason why I'm grabbing him opposed to these two is because she's just healing. This is just healing, maybe some immunity, but Liao is good. So I'll do challenge. <coughs> One thing they don't have here is leader skills. So it's all about being fast. So Bryn right now is 110. That's the fastest you're going to get as far as for a three star anyway. So we'll start it off. I'm going to put it on auto just so I can talk to see how things are going. But, you know, we're just going to progress through this pretty thoroughly. Fast and see what happens when we get to level six and what we have at that time. Uh, kind of how I do this um, is to show when to actually buy or re-roll for a new team and what you should grab and why you should grab it. So of course, we're gonna upgrade her because the upgrade's available. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna see who's fast. So we have 108 and 107. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to return these two guys. Bloop, bloop. Gone. You don't have to do this. You could keep them. Some people do. Um, I'm not. I'm just going to boom, boom. Man. Ji Jang. I think that's what her name is. What is her name? Jang Main. So great. The nether blooms, the explosions, delete everything. I comboed her in the Esper that's a, like a snake girl. And it did really well. So we'll just do the challenge and go forward. Um, Chiron's okay. He provides attack and healing. Also an AoE. But we really care about her. Getting her stacks on them. Get the nether blooms. And then we have him to light up the sky. And hopefully it explodes all of them. Mm, three. So it's just a double attack. Because it's five stacks till the explosion. And then yeah. Dead immediately <laughs> so of course we're gonna keep progressing forward i'm gonna go like this mm. 
Boom, 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 boom. We don't care about these three stars anymore. We care about speed, baby. Let's bring her in. What's her name again? Jinhee. Cool. Controller. Now that we have four, we can pop her right in there. And then just rinse and repeat. All we care about is speed. Speed and stacks. If you can pull Jang main, then you're kind of good to always delete a team. Because the nether blooms go up. He removes some. Nether Bloons explode on two ways. Defeating the stack or killing the Esper itself. Once you kill it, all the other Nether Blooms explode. Well, kind of. <laughs> um, he's got an upgrade, so I'm going to go ahead and pop that on him. Brings him up to 109 speed. I know she's fast. So who's the slowest is Bryn. So, wait, what are we talking about? Bryn is at still 110. This is 108. Who is 107? She's 108. 110, 19. I'm gonna just keep her, you know, because if she, as far as for shimmer, she uh, she removes any buffs and pushes back your cooldown, so that's perfect, kind of for all of this and later. I don't want to grab him because he's kind of stupid. He is mainly for, I want to say, if you're doing a hell mode um, or you're trying to fight any boss that has a lot of health, he can push their health back. What is it like? Let's see. Can I highlight him? Nope, I just bought him. So this, Fate. Attacks all enemies. And 70% chance inflicting disease. Is that the move? Wait, what? Oh yeah, max HP of all enemies 30%, which is awesome. Right off the back. Just not even doing damage. He just knocks out 30%. So he's great. So I picked him up. I didn't want to, but whatever. Uh oh, this is the girl I was talking about. Her. When I have her combined with Jang Main, the explosions are awesome. But she's not ranked up, so I'm just gonna leave everyone who's in here right now. We got a, a level two on our Jin He. Um, once it starts getting harder, we're at tower five, floor five. So next round, we are automatically going to get the new Esper, Legendary Esper. And that's what's good about these series. So we're going to automatically grab her. These are all three stars. We don't need them. Um, we'll do another challenge. We have another slot open for her. She's super fast, 110 right off the back, obviously, because she's a legendary. And we're just going to keep going into it. I don't know if people actually have problems with reincarnation tower but i wanted to do this video mainly because you know I, these are one of the few things i actually enjoy just playing so once you're done with all your dailies and grinding for certain things and you don't have anything like cube to finish or any other dailies or anything that you're trying to work on this is good to do when you're bored so as far as you know and you still want to just play dislike without working on stuff so uday awesome she starts off with 111. I'm going to throw her in there and take out. Let's take out Chiron. And he's okay, but 99 speed. We don't need that. We need a team that's just fast. That's all that matters. So let's take him out. Uh, throw her in. She's got that shield that is basically your whole health bar which is awesome. And she provides an AOE that also gives the whole team attack damage, which I guess in a sense I can take out Bren now um, because basically it's, it, it doesn't make sense to have two espers that provide attack buff. So eh. um, I'm gonna leave her in here for right now because we don't have a good replacement. And I didn't even notice that one of my <laughs> units died immediately. Awesome. New Esper's just going to clean it up. And how do I say her name again? I always mess it up. Yuhime. So we have a Brim rank up to three. We also have Gaius, so we're going to take out somebody. Let's return some of these three stars. Goodbye. We're going to throw Gaius in there. I keep the four stars until I'm getting consistent five stars. Some people... Uh, the people who are in the high ranks, they manual this. Um, so you can be super effective. Instead of just having it on auto, 
where sometimes they won't even use the correct moves that they should be to speed clear this. But truthfully, if you're only doing the missions, then you don't need to. As long as you're winning the rounds and progressing forward and you have enough built up currency for reincarnation tower to build another team because you want to keep re-rolling so you can get more legendaries if you don't re-roll then you're not going to get anything so we have another legendary esper who are we going to throw back let's see let's return these two and chiron just because he's slow anyway so who cares emblem's awesome I'm honestly getting pretty lucky to get two legendaries and I'm only at floor nine. Yeah. So let's challenge this. Um, who to take out? She's 112, 108. It might be stupid to take her out, but I'm going to do it anyway, just because we have a legendary. If I lose, I'll throw her back in. I don't care. Um, all right. The fastest in the group obviously goes first. Raven is so awesome for reincarnation tower she's so fast and she has the defense break and she can clear debuffs as far as for legendary shimmers she is s tier for me you don't see her that much i feel like a lot of people don't have her but man i don't even have her i actually have no legendary es uh shimmer espers so i'm gonna clean it up and yes She's going to do her little Sailor Moon dance. Let's see if we can keep getting legendaries. All right. So the fact that I got rank two on her, I'm going to keep her. Her speed is 110. We might actually take out Gaius. Maybe. Hmm. Let's see what we'll leave. We have two attacks. Embla, you know what? Let's put her in there. This is still pretty fast. Who's faster? 109? 109. They're both 111 speed rules let's run it now if i get a rank up for leora or gaius i'm obviously going to swap that back in there of course she's going first and embla put some stacks on there we have an attack buff queen's gift is super annoying by abigail that's all right we're gonna put some nether balloons on there and we have our own yihime who is just going to start deleting everyone <laughs> so and of course embla Again, doing her Sailor Moon, progressing forward. Let's see if we get a... Uh, I'm just going to grab every legendary I see. We're getting super lucky by getting a whole bunch of Jang mains. She is so pertinent. So right now we're at 65, what are these called? Wave Fragments. So And, and if you look at the top, you can see the percentage of you getting a legendary. But honestly, I've gotten one every single floor, so I'm just lucky. I'm not even looking at speeds anymore. You would think that Dahlia would be super fast, but I guess she compensates for the fact that she has an AP buff. And we're not going to grab Kara because we don't really need poison if we have nether blooms. Um, do I want to swap anyone out? No. If I get a rank two of any of these, I'm going to throw them in. It starts to get harder around like 13 i would say people start to get faster so right now they have a faster i don't know what this girl's name is the new shimmer epic i'm still going to be able to put nether blooms your humane is going to do her thing which is getting rid of some of those stacks i think we might lose i don't know so you're in this situation what do you want to do i could revamp my team or I could still rock my same team. Or we can get lucky and get a new list. So we got no legendaries here. I could re-roll and, and waste some of this precious wave fragments. Or I could just do this. This was not here before. You could swap the... T and if it was there, I didn't notice. You could refresh the team so you could fight something different. That team didn't work? All right, fine. You'll keep It keeps the same level. That's perfectly fine. And let's see if I can still challenge it. Now, if I lose to this, I don't want to keep losing hearts. So uh, this might even be worse than the team before. But I want to at least try before I waste my currency on re-rolling like a thousand times. So we're going to let this play out. And hopefully, they see they have a Jang main too. That's so horrible. Uh, come on, Embla. Bring us through. Nether stack's blowing up. 
Oh, their Ninx is really taking people out. Embla's not doing what she needs to. All right, so since we lost this, we're going to make another team. <laughs> we're, or we're going to buff the team that we already have. We're going to re-roll till we're way more powerful. So the fact that they have Parmy in the back, that's fast. And they have the Shimmer Girl that we had before, who's super fast. So we're just going to re-roll till we get some speed. So now that she's faster, I know she's, oh, she's 107. And we can get rank three on Jang Main, so that's great. We're gonna re-roll till about 50. I keep myself around 50, just so when I get in the later, later rounds, I can thoroughly grab something. So we're gonna grab everyone that's fast. Yes. The fact that she is three makes my day. I'm down to 49, I want to stay at 50, but that's okay. So let's challenge. And I'm definitely going to be going first. And Embla hasn't been working out for me. So let's throw in Leora. Because if we can get the standoff that keeps us, us alive, then that will help out a lot. And also she multi-hits, so it's good. It's good for Jane Main anyway. We have Nynx. Putting my Jane Main to sleep. I'm about to manual this. Because they're pissing me off. Yes, keep everyone alive. Go in there, Miss Flat Booty. Leora's beautiful succession of her move to leading people. Um, Parmy trying to put out a stun. Stuns out a couple of, actually all of my units. Um, we don't want Abigail on the other team to res someone back. So hopefully... We'll be able to go soon enough. Of course, we have that shield again. Leora confidently taking the lead. And I think we're good. So that was good. Yes, we lost two hearts, but that's okay. We're more prepared for the next rounds. And if we can get a support legendary Esper, that'd be perfect. What is happening here? All right. There we go. All right. I feel a lot better. I thought I was just going to lose constantly and I'll be like, well, I'm deleting this video. <laughs> so now that we're on 11, we have five levels to go. We get an Abigail. Also, her speed is 111. So that's awesome. Let's grab her. I'm going to keep going down to 50. This is personally what I do. I don't know what everyone else does, but I'm going to keep down, going down to 50 just because I wanted to see what's the speed. 110. I really need him. I'll grab her. And we'll call it a day. So I want to put in Abigail. But who to take out? She goes first. I always want to leave Yuhime because she's like the basis of all of this. And you're getting extra buffs on her. That's that start. Well, you're getting extra buffs on her because this is her portion of the event. So we're going to take out her. And put in Abigail just so we can get some res potential, AP, uh, buffs, and defense. Of course, we got Galactic Wave. Nice. Everyone's working together. Explosions happening. Even the Jang Ju Lee has used his Berserk mode. Everyone gets AP. AP. So that means she can just go again. <laughs> this actually works out beautifully. I'm pretty sure I can rock this whole team. All the way to the end. Berserk Mario activated. He hasn't deleted anyone, so he's dead. And this is a beautiful team comp. We've got speed. We've got support to keep us alive. And the AP from Abigail makes everyone go again. Because it's 100%, pretty sure. Let's see what it is. Sienna's good. She's fast later, so I'm just going to grab her. I'll grab every legendary I see, actually. Yes, level two. That's all we need. And we're at 49. That's perfect. We're getting closer and closer. Three more rounds. One of these rounds, I'm going to dump all of my wave fragments to redo this. Well, not to redo this. To plow forward. Because they start getting fast. This girl right here, Feng Nui. Feng Nui. Hmm? I don't know. But she's fast. Level one, 109. And her move is ridiculous. Her S3 pushes back. It dispels buffs and it 
I think it stuns you. But I know your cooldowns also get pushed back as well. So we're just going to run this. I wanted to do the whole thing instead of a short video, just so you can see the thought process and, uh, you know, to get the full effect if you haven't done Reincarnation Tower ever. It's, it's a very quick game that you could do over and over again. Has massive replayability. Re um, of course, we've got the AP and the shield. Yours is dead. Thing is doing exactly what I hate. She gives speed and cooldown reset. And they have a Jang main. Man, they have the most annoying team possible. So this is the point where I'm going to start dumping all my wave fragments. Just so I can go first. I'm not going to reset this team. Mainly because I do see that I do hurt them. Wow, she's still alive. Look at that shield. Can we just talk about how broken that shield is? If she wins, I'm going to be so upset. Eh, eh, goodbye, shield. She's doing it. Nah, this is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was interesting, though. She stayed alive longer than she's supposed to. All right, cool. Time to dump all of my coins. Embla. Nice. Oh, yes. If I could get her three, I'd be super happy. Let's get rid of some of these... Uh, not using her anymore, so goodbye. And I'm not getting any benefit of, out of them too. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad if I see guys. Yep. And the aura. Oh wait, you know what? I'm gonna keep that. Clara, how fast are you? 109? I'll pick her up. Loki. 107. The supports rule this. Support speed and just like one attack, you're good. All right. Oh my goodness, Raven. All right, let's try this out. Come on, like Leora's two. She's got 113 speed right now. This gotta be possible. If not, I'm resetting this team. Or should I just manually do it? But I do know this girl needs to die. If she doesn't die, it's over. Oh! No! She needs to die. Yes, the shield. Yes. We did it. After wasting all of our wave fragments. We also picked up a decent number of uh, legendary espers. I don't know who I'm going to swap out, though. I guess if I'm swapping out anyone, it'll be Abigail right now. Yes, this game loves me today. Another Leora. I'm being desperate right now, so. Boop, 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 boop. Just people I'm not using. Can grab her. Anything else? Uh, am I lucky today? Yes. All right. I'm pretty sure we don't need anything, especially since if you get her to tier three, let's just look at it again. Tier three, when you humate gain six health hand stacks from beyond the grave, they gain bonus turn. And of course, all the other ones, <laughs> the other buffs. So I honestly, theoretically shouldn't lose. Raven and two Claras must be nice. Because I don't think we can put out two. Although I've never tried. I just assumed it would say no. Got the AP again, so she just goes again. She brings back Raven, which deletes all of my buffs. Actually, some buffs stayed. Super lucky. I want to see if you can actually put the same. Or can just... Like, can you actually put two of the same espers in one team? Watch, she's not going to give me something right now. There's an emblem. Let's try it. So, let's just go like this. Can I? No, I can't. Why, why can't that? I don't like that that's possible. I don't like that the other team, even though it's PvE, uh, can have duplicate espers, but we can't. Like, that doesn't make any sense. 
We're still gonna rock this team because everyone's fast and everyone's almost three. We use her because she's just so fast and that shield is clutch. Jang Mame holding it down for the epics. Go again, everyone. And Ollie. They have their own Leora causing problems, but I have the Jang Mame. I will be the victor because I have nether blooms as their tears stomp on her. <laughs> Maybe my Abigail can bring her back. All right, nether blooms still exploding. Still got, so they have standoff. You see that at the top right there? Looks like a little Dragon Ball Z power up buff. So this is what's providing them some sustain to stay alive. But it doesn't matter. I think my team is very superior. This is a good superior team. Especially this shimmer right here. That shield and her going first is awesome reincarnation tower. And let me actually look up her name so I can stop calling her shield girl. Because that's probably annoying. Leora, three. Oh my goodness, I won. I won life. Uh, what is her name? Ude. Sup, dead. We're just going to waste all of our fragments just to see if we can get something. And nope. 16. Almost the whole team. Three star. They are going first. She's the fastest. That's funny. Going again. Just deleting everyone. And yeah, that kind of sums it up for this reincarnation tower. Long video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm seeing... I wanted to do this video anyway. Uh, I'll try to do one for each Legendary Esper that comes out for this event. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If it's well received, I'll keep doing them. And let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, hey, tell me what team you're using. Because if you have something better and you're not doing it manual, give me the goods. Give me the strats. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Here's my little like, comment, subscribe thing. There we go. Hit it. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Let's see, what the next video that I'm going to come out with, I'm going to see if I can do a cube video. A lot of people have covered it, but I haven't covered it for my channel. So you get to see what I use for cube eight, which will also work all the way down the line. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys next. Bye.